We're recording. Hi, I'm David Blasco from Recording Magazine, and today we're going to check out a really interesting new product from Cali Audio, the INUNF Ultra Near Field Studio Monitors. The INUNF is the latest addition in Cali Audio's Project Independence line of studio monitors, and it stylishly addresses the age-old problem of small speakers set up in a small space that end up lacking low-end or high-end detail. The INUNF is not just a set of studio monitors, but rather a unique, bi-amped, Class D, three-way complete studio monitor system that's frankly unlike anything I've ever seen before. When unboxing the INUNF system, you instantly get a feeling like you're in for something special before you even take them out of the box. It's finished in a striking pink to blue ombre color scheme, and I always really appreciate it when companies put a little extra thought into their products of a presentation and appearance. UNF stands for Ultra Near Field. As such, this setup is meant to be experienced at about arm's length away in a smaller, much more compact space. The INUNF features a base station, which is not a subwoofer, and features two 4.5-inch woofers tethered to two satellite speakers, both with 4-inch paper mid-range drivers and 1-inch textile dome tweeters. The mid-range tweeter assembly is the same as in Cali Audio's IN5 and IN8 speakers. The satellite speakers are actually spherical in design, and they sit on these soft silicone pucks that insulate your desk from vibrations and allow for a really quick and easy angle adjustment. The rectangular base unit can actually be set up in a couple different ways either vertically behind your computer or laptop to save space, or horizontally where it can function as a stand for your computer monitor. Kelly does not recommend placing laptops directly on the base unit as the magnets can destroy hard drives or even trigger closed sensors on some MacBook models. The design of the base station is such that it transfers no vibrations to your desk or anything you place on top of it. Not only does this offer a tighter, more accurate sound, you have zero worries of your monitor buzzing its way off the unit onto the floor. The 4.5-inch woofers are opposingly located on both sides of the base unit, with one side having a large base port. Your inputs are also on that side. For analog, there's support for two quarter-inch TRS cables and one stereo eighth-inch mini jack. There's also an ADAT optical digital input. Also notable is the addition of a USB-C port that works with Macs, PCs, and iOS devices. This completely eliminates the need for an external audio interface and is an awesome feature for people either just getting started with their music journey or someone looking for a streamlined portable setup. Kelly has noted that there have been some reported issues with Intel-based Macs with the USB port, but that Apple Silicon Macs have been totally fine. Here you'll also find a selection of eight tiny white dip switches and more on those in a minute. The other side of the base unit has your outputs via two sets of banana style connectors for use with each satellite speaker's permanently attached cable. There's also a master volume control, a sleep-wake button, a master power switch, and a three-prong IEC main socket. I chose to set the base unit up vertically behind my laptop because my home studio desk is definitely on the smaller side, which is exactly what the system was made for. Conveniently, Kali also included templates for the best position of the satellite speakers in relation to the base unit. Now it was time to run the INUNF through my usual pace of tests. Genres ranging from hip hop, pop, rock, and jazz, as well as songs and productions I'm currently mixing. I was immediately struck by how much low end these little guys can produce. The bass unit covers from 40 hertz all the way to 300 hertz, with the satellite speakers covering the rest of the frequency range. At first, I did notice the mid range was a bit dark and woofy, right around 200 hertz, but that's when I realized I forgot to follow the instructions to optimize the EQ of the unit for the space via those tiny little dip switches I mentioned earlier. Once adjusted accordingly, the mid-range buildup was completely mitigated and I was left with a much more natural and flat mid-range without anything sounding overly hyped or scooped. It is really worth mentioning that those dip switches though are tiny and it's very hard to flip one without accidentally flipping the one right next to it if you're using your finger. Overall, the highs were smooth and detailed, if not a touch dark compared to the monitors I typically use, and I appreciate that they never got harsh or shrill when I pushed them at higher volumes, and just overall, I'm impressed with the sonic range of the INUNF. The up-close and personal design of the INUNF also makes projection and room acoustics less of an issue. 
The Kali Audio IN UNF is perfectly tailored for those who are short on space but looking for a setup that's not short on sound. I had no idea what to expect when I unboxed the system, and overall I'm really impressed and would happily recommend these to anybody looking for a small compact setup with full sound. If you would like to know more of my thoughts on the Kali Audio IN UNF, check out my review in the June 2023 issue of Recording Magazine. You can also stop by kaliaudio.com for further info on the IN UNF as well as other monitors in the Kali Audio line. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for further video reviews, product comparisons, and more. Then swing by recordingmagazine.com for the best in all things recording, where you can also subscribe to our print publication. For Recording Magazine, I'm David Blasco. We'll see you next time.